breaking through the main gate! Defend it! Keep them out! Drive the Urukai back! Alright, so here we go. The first 45 with The Lord of the Rings Conquest, the new officially licensed game from the film franchise of the same name. I am Sean from GamerVision.com. And I am Dominic from GamerVision.com. I'm expecting basically Star Wars Battlefront, but with different character models and backgrounds, you know. This is a couple years after the last Battlefront, so hopefully this one's a little bit more touched up. I'm hoping for fun. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not expecting, you know, a Game of the Year candidate here, but I'd just like to have some fun with it. Heroic? Heroic, I think, yeah. yeah. We're, we're a couple of heroes. War came to Rohan, forcing King Theoden... Voice of Hugo Weaving. ...in the fortress of Helm's Deep. How many times have we seen these cutscenes in games already? Like, this might be the 14th time I've seen this scene in between movies and games. That could almost be the exact same build they used in the Two Towers game. There's a lot of last-gen feel to it, or cut and paste from previously existing IPs. The enemy AI is not terrific. No. You notice them standing around watching you kill their friends? Yeah. Like in movies, they attack one at a time. That's one of my guys. It's okay, because you can't hurt them. <laughs> Think Dynasty Warriors. I'm also not getting any sense from this game of the scale of this battle. That yeah, there it's... are tens of thousands of, of orcs storming these walls. It's, you know, five, six at a time. Don't let any reach the wall! See these guys? Literally frozen in mid-pose. My, my arrows go through them. Oh, look! Guy, guy spawned. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna kick this guy right off. Get out of here. You have the world's best aim ever. It's like playing Dynasty Warriors, but a lot worse. There's very few combos, as we saw on the moves list, and then it's like you, you figure out which two are the greatest or the most effective to use, and uh, you can use that the whole game. You lean on them, right? The soundtrack, at the very least, is very nice. The known tunes that we've heard in the movies. Same right. soundtrack I've heard a million times. Yeah. You know, the same rallying cries shouted over and over again. Uh, the first time you heard it when you played the Two Towers, it was it was kind of awe-inspiring. To hear it now on another game, what, four years on, it's, it's a little disappointing. It can be really annoying to hear the same guy yell at you the objective that you're supposed to be doing. That huge machine sprays fire upon the field! Stop it! And if you're going to use that as a way to remind me of what the objective is, it should certainly be more helpful, as opposed to, you know, destroy the fire machine, destroy the fire machine. Well, you know, it doesn't say anything about running over to the crossbow, nor does the map indicate that there's a crossbow there for you to fire. Would you continue to play it, now that you've played the first 45 minutes? As a Tolkien fanboy, part of me wants to keep playing it. As a gamer, I know that there are other things that I'm going to be playing first, so I'm just going to say no. If I found this in the clearance bin for maybe like five or ten dollars, I'd, I'd definitely continue playing it. But um, for sixty dollars, I, you know, I'd rather spend my money elsewhere. That's it. The first forty-five for Lord of the Rings Conquest. Make sure you stay tuned to Gamer Vision for the full review of the game and all your other gaming news and information. Archers, we need magic to protect us. I think he's asking the wrong class. Warriors, bring your stealth. Scouts, act like horses. Just for fun.